It's just been announced that the epidemic of anabolic steroid users has reached up to tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It's been announced by some of my peers here in America. The Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism presents two articles, Drs. Bashane and Pope and Dr. Anawal. We've all been working for many, many years, even up to decades, on men that have used steroids and making sure that they're protected and making sure they have ethical care. Because unfortunately, traditional medicine has not paid attention to this. And since 2003, I have made it my purpose and my sole purpose now as a medical expert. So, in these studies, I'd like to share with what they're discussing. They're talking about the amount of steroids that people use. They're talking about the time that it takes to shut down the hypothalamus pituitary gonad axis and for it to recover. And then they talk about two drugs, human chorionic gonadotropin and Clomid, and how it's used to maintain fertility. Now, this is an excellent start. I commend you doctors for this. We finally have a safe place for men here in America. I hope this continues abroad. It needs to. These medicines for anabolic recovery, in which I've been working on for many, many years, there's more than just these two medicines. It has to be a man per man approach. There are other medicines. There are psychotropic medicines. There are other disease type medicines that need to be used. The most important piece is the bond between the physician and the patient using steroids. That's what I've created. That's the most important thing that I've heard from my patients. So the history and physical, the details, listening and really caring, not just telling him to get out of steroids and go away and maybe come back and if he's low enough, you'll treat him. That's not the answer. Fertility, of course, is very important for young men, but it's not just the only issue. So, please, I will be announcing my research attentions very soon with different institutions I decide to work with. Please follow me. Please, here in this video, comment. And if you're not comfortable, change your account. Please make sure you, you maintain your confidentiality. That's the utmost of important. We're getting there, but we're not fully there yet. This will take more years. Please, I ask you men on steroids, please share with your medical issues from withdrawal, from sexual, from cardiac, hematologic, abscesses, anything and everything. Talk about what steroids you've used. Talk about why you've used them. Of course, none of these men are professional athletes. These are being, these are average men now. You're, you represent average men that are just trying to feel great and look better. And because of social media and accessibility, bam, we've arrived to this massive epidemic. And I'm so happy to see that traditional physicians in the world, in America, are paying attention. And these articles have come out and there's more to come. So please follow me and please share and openly discuss this when you feel comfortable. Please go see your healthcare providers. Please come and share your information. Thank you so much. I hope this helps.